Good morning. This is Peter Levesque. It is Thursday, uh, May the 8th, 2008, and these are my reflections on the Community University Expo Conference that uh, ended yesterday. It was day three yesterday, and there was lots of activity and the closing ceremonies. So let me start with the closing ceremonies, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that were discussed in the workshops as well as, I think, some, some directions to move in. Closing ceremonies were touching. There were some important things that were done. Um, there was the reading of the Pan-Canadian Coalition on Community-Based Research, and I think I'm going to create a separate video uh, reading that out so that uh, people can understand what that is. Uh, there was also the reading <coughs> of a document that emerged called the Global Alliance on Community Engaged Research. And this was, um, this is something that's been created over the last couple of years in discussions all over uh, the planet with people involved in this kind of work. And I'm going to create a separate video uh, reading that out loud so people can access it uh, in a format beyond uh, just text. Uh, the text will be posted and they will be circulated to other conferences where people can continue to sign up. Let me start with the closing ceremonies. I think that um, given how intense these, act these conferences are, I think a little bit of steam ran out at the end. Um, in terms of participants, a lot of the leaders were there, but a lot of the people that do the work in the field, I think, had uh, been conferenced out, and so the, the, I think the impact that the closing ceremonies could have had uh, wasn't quite realized, and that's okay, because I think that people got what they need and then went on to do the things that they're going to do, and I think that's actually an important consideration. Uh, the decisions, the actions that are going to be taking following this conference, I think are actually going to be very strong. There were the interreactions, the interrelationships, the interconversations, the spaces in between were very explicit and very transparent in this conference. And Bud Hall read a, a narrative uh, poem, I hope that he, he posts somewhere, that talked about how there was the intersection of people who are not normally associated. And I think it's the association of things that are not normally associated that allows for the emergence of something that is genius, uh, that allows for things that are truly innovative and not just incremental uh, changes. It's about the uh, improvement of the way or the, the change in the way that we see the world. And I think that happened in a thousand little ways um, throughout this conference and needs to be recognized. The presentations by Paulo Wangula, uh, who you can watch a, a, an interview with Paulo, um, was touching. Um, Paulo works in very difficult conditions in Uganda, but always has a view of the world that moves forward. And his energy and enthusiasm belies uh, the many decades of work that he has done. Uh, Jody Patterson, who's a journalist and, and has done many different things in her lifetime, including right now working on, you know, she was working on sex worker rights and is involved in the creation of a brothel in Victoria, which I didn't know anything about, but apparently uh, was uh, on the CBC radio news. But she spoke very passionately about uh, how sex workers don't want to be the subjects of, of um, study that they want to actually be involved in it and that these are human beings as well and we may not agree some people may not agree with what it is that they do but they are nonetheless human beings um, Andrew Parter at the uh, Petter uh, the Dean of Law of the University of Victoria in his in his remarks talked about how we don't we cannot do things the same way any longer um, that we need to engage that all the divisions of our governance structures, whether it's the legislative, the, the judicial, you know, the judicial or the executive or our elected parliament. Um, if we're going to engage in politics, we need to engage in conversations about the, peop the way we're going to live as people in a place, uh, in association with people in other places. And he didn't come out and say it, but I could hear in the undertones that much of the political debate that's going on right now is uh, chicanery. It is not a true discussion of how to live in this place. And it's certainly 
um, doesn't include the evidence that comes out of research process. And so all of these pieces start coming together and you can see something emerging. And I, I, I remain very hopeful. Um, I saw the renewal of ideas of people, you know, ideas that have been around for a long time about uh, university extension and service learning and continuing education. Um, people are excited about these ideas, but they're excited about doing them in different ways. And that came through in the two workshops. I gave two workshops today, really small workshops on, well, an hour and a half, but, you know, they weren't grandiose, big, sweeping ideas. They were two ide workshops, one on how to produce a podcast and how to produce video for YouTube, like what we're doing right here. And part of what I, ha I try to emphasize is that it's not about the technology, that the technology is maybe 10%, that it's 90% social, and people got that, and that the video files and the audio files are just like the, the files of a word processing program or of an email and it's not ABC on the page, it's a series of lines up and down that you, you can see in, in, the, in the audio or it's a series of pictures but you can cut and paste and add and influence and uh, change it and deliver it in ways that allow for the transfer the translation, the exchange of ideas in formats that people can understand. However, given that there's some excitement and there were lots of ideas in terms of public health and various service communities and uh, journalism, some very interesting questions were brought up that I can't answer because I don't have the answers around ethics and protocols and the whole history around the development of these types of things within journalism and uh, radio broadcast and various analog forms. The challenge though is that I don't think we can stop and figure out what our protocols are. People are using this. I mean one of the discussions around YouTube is that YouTube I think is part of our public infrastructure now. Uh, it's not funded by the public but it's created by the public and it's facilitated by private. And I think that there's some important issues within that. And yes, it's often filled with stupid people and pet tricks. But if we want to leave it at that, I think we're going to get what we deserve. And so we, how do we use these tools to exchange with one another, to link with one another, and to talk about what is valuable in our communities and the mechanisms and the ways and the processes and uh, you know, all of the, the various nuts and bolts of how to build that value for mutual benefit. I'm really tired after this, but it's a good kind of tired. We worked through a whole bunch of issues. We met a whole bunch of people and my, um, I'm not going to name them, but whenever I go to a conference I carry a little 3 by 5 card, index card, and I write the names of three people that I need to stay in touch with, three ideas that have influenced me, and one project or one um, proposal that is, I'm going to generate out of this. And I've written those down and I'm going to continue to work on it. Um, it's overwhelming. There's so much work to do and I think that instead of throwing our hands up and saying, oh, it's too com complicated, oh, it's too complex, oh, I don't know what to do, I think what we need to do is start and work together and we'll all take a part. So I wish to congratulate everybody who came. I wish to congratulate the organizers led by Bud Hall and uh, Peter Keller and Maureen Duncan and all of the, the great leadership who are named and continue to be named. But I want to thank also all of the people that, you know, put paper into folders and wore the t-shirts, uh, you know, like S Sarah Dickey, who did amazing work, and Maeve Lydon did Mary work, amazing work, and Mary O'Rourke did amazing work. But I also want to thank all those people that don't get named that make these events better. And I want to thank everybody who came for sharing their knowledge, sharing their data, sharing their information, sharing their knowledge, but like Rab Rob Travers uh, from Toronto talks about sharing their wisdom. There was a lot of wisdom, uh, not always wisdom, but the wisdom to ask questions, the wisdom to connect, the wisdom to uh, ex extend and to enter into discussion, I think in an open, hearted and transparent way and I wish to congratulate the people who came who engaged in that. It was um, very good and I learned and I appreciate this um, more than I, I can express here. So this is Peter Levesque, this is May 8th and this was my third video log from the CU Expo conference. I hope to see many of you soon.